At the Creation Evidence Museum, we believe the Bible. We also practice good science. The central focal point of the Bible is the person of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, Ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. There is a landmass that is the closest spot opposite Jerusalem on the globe. Now, the actual spot is in the South Pacific, but the landmass closest to the actual greatest distance from Jerusalem is the island nation of Fiji. Now, I've been in Fiji almost 40 times. My family here says that I left my heart in Fiji, and that's probably true because I have members bound by the blood of Jesus Christ in Fiji, members of my family that are not related by birth, but related by the new birth that are very, very special to me. I want to emphasize that Fiji is the uttermost part of the earth. With one finger on Israel here in the Mediterranean area, then we make our trek across the globe. You can see the Asian continent, the Arabian continent. You can see Australia and now New Zealand. And just over here, we come to the Solomon Islands and Fiji. It is literally the opposite spot of the globe from Jerusalem. Now, that does not mean that we should ignore the rest of the world in our pursuit of following Jesus Christ and obeying Him. But is it possible for those individuals in Fiji who represented just a century and a half ago the ultimate of depravity, is it possible for them to be born again? Sam Barrick, a dear friend of mine that I ordained as a pastor in uh, Fiji some long, long decades ago. Sam is now home with the Lord. Sam told me the story. He was the historian of the country. And he told me the story of Ratu Seru Dukumbau, who actually took over his little island of 12 acres, island of Bao, renamed it Bao. Dakambao means death to Bao. He then became the monarch. Took him some long decades to conquer all of the Fijian islands, but he ultimately conquered them all. Now, what I'm going to tell you, I would not have believed had it not been for the actual accounting uh, in, in truth there in Fiji. Saru Dakambao had permitted the missionaries to come, basically Methodist missionaries and Congregationalists and Presbyterians who came to present the gospel. He listened to them, but he rejected them. And then he stood, he stood before his people one day and he said, the missionaries have come and I have rejected the message. And the, his people said, Venaka, uh, that's kind of amen, that's, you're right. I agree with you. He said, I did not think I needed the message of Jesus Christ. So they said, Venaka. He said, I verily thought that I was God. They said, Venaka, you are. He said, but I've been a very wicked man. They couldn't believe that. He said, before me, are men whose wives I have violated. Before me are widows whose husbands I have eaten. I've been a very wicked man. I now repent. I turn to Jesus Christ. I will eat no more flesh. I claim Christ as my Savior. He was born again. Did he need to be born again? Yes. Two of the chieftains that he ate, sat before him across the fire that they built, and he cut off one part of their body at a time, roasted it, and ate it. Said, would you like some? This was how wicked this man was. Yet, I must say that while he expressed that wickedness and realized ultimately that he needed the saving grace of Jesus Christ, while he realized that in measure, that same potential to wickedness 
is in each one of us. It's just a matter of degrees. We too are sinners and need the message of Jesus Christ. Very often in Fiji, as I present the message of Christ and heads are bowed, chieftains who are in charge of their whole village or entire territory pray the loudest among those who pray. And I lead them to pray something like, Dear God, I'm a sinner. I wish you could hear the thundering bass voice of a Fijian chieftain admitting publicly that he's a sinner. Dear God, I'm a sinner. And I need Jesus Christ. I know he's your son, and I receive him as my Savior at this very moment. That chieftain, along with his people, often are completely converted to know Jesus Christ intimately and personally, not just to know the record. If you have not done what the Fijians have done, you too need Jesus Christ. He is our only hope.